There's a couple of things I've done since I last uh, had a video going on with this. I've pressure tested the cooling system. This right here is a pressure tester. What you do is you, you pump this thing up and then you go to 15 which is the blue pressure wise and then what you do is um, it goes it connects to the where the radiator cap connects so what you do is you pump it up to 15 and then you check all the hose clamps I did find three leaks and we went ahead and um, tightened up all the hose clamps the, the cooling system is now pressure tested and sealed um, what else I've done is that orange thing right there that you see with the shiny black thing covering it that's the air filter we've already pulled that out blew all the dust out of it and uh, replaced it shouldn't be any restriction with the airflow coming through that air filter now so what we want to do coming up next is um, go ahead and replace this serpentine belt see if we can see some cracks on it nope it's kinda of dark down there so you can't see any cracks on it but there is cracks there's little cracks in this belt that goes around all the pulleys on the front of the engine so we have to purchase one of those and um, we'll go ahead and replace that coming up soon okay I decided to go ahead and remove and replace the oxygen sensor uh, that's the sensor that goes to the exhaust pipe and gives the ECM, the computer, a reading to tell how much fuel to burn correctly and all that stuff. So um, we're going to go ahead and replace this. This is the old one. We just pulled this out. Um, it's very nasty and corroded and it's been there for years and years and it's just really uh, needing to be replaced. So I had this one in inventory. I had it from my Firebird which is the same small block Chevy engine. Um, this one looks way better condition. So we're going to go ahead and replace the oxygen sensor. We went ahead and installed the oxygen sensor and um, it was accessible from the top to remove because the, the tightening nut was more exposed on the older oxygen sensor the new oxygen sensor the tightening nut on it was less accessible from the top so we went ahead and had to raise the front end of the car so right now the front end of the car is raised off the ground I'll go ahead and show you this tire it spins freely um, there's a few things that we have to do while the front end is off the ground and uh, one of those things is uh, check the brakes so the front wheels will come off soon so we can be able to check the brakes and um, another thing we need to do is uh, go ahead and do an oil change on the car we'll go ahead and take care of those because those need to be done to make sure that the car will be able to stop correctly and the oil needs to be done just to make sure that the engine is lubricated correctly